वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु बेवच पतितानंग पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखं करोति वाचालं पंगुंग लंग हैतगिरि यत्कि पातम हंग वंदे परमानंद माधव बिंदा हुई तू श्री बुई पिया हुई केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी सत्यवत नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीताहम पनुत्वादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमि छटाय विस्फुर्जी कि गोपूष्वदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा काम करीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीअदगदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितरो कमलायताक्ष भीषाबरो दिजवरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादपंकज सुरासुरवंद दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दासी भावाूपेन सदा नराण गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी कवाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनोंग मदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष बदने लक्ष्मी जस च बक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबी सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
<coughs> नाते विदुषार्थ गति हि विष्णु दूरा सयाजे बहिराथमान अंध्यायथाई रूपनीयन तेयोपिशिचता मुरधा निबाध्य नाते विदुषार्थ गति हि विष्णु दूरा सयाजे बहिराथमान अंधायथाई रूपनीयन तेयोपिशिचता मुरदा निबाध्या गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपा परमंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट टू कलेक्ट टू कलेक्ट टू कलेक्ट समथिंग मेटेरियल ऑब्जेक्टिव व्हिच हैज नॉट नो कनेक्शन विथ भगवत सेवा इट इज द क्रॉनिक डिजीज ऑफ बॉन्डेड सोल गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट दिस इज द क्रॉनिक डिजीज ऑफ बॉन्डेड सोल इज टू कलेक्ट समथिंग व्हिच हैज नो कनेक्शन विथ कृष्ण सेवा नो कनेक्शन विथ कृष्ण सेवा दे आर ऑलवेज बिजी टू कलेक्ट दोज थिंग दिस इज द क्रॉनिक डिजीज ऑफ बॉन्डेड सोल नो कैन स्टॉप No connection with Krishna Seva means those are the items they are collecting for their own enjoyment. Lava, puja, patistha, money, position, land, property, everything they are collecting. This is their fanciful attitude. They are not following Paramahansa Guru Vishnu. They are not surely following Paramahansa Guru Vishnu. That's why this kind of material desire is there. Because as soon as you are going to take shelter, as soon as you are going to take shelter unto the lotus feet of Paramahansa Sadguru, in true sense, from then, from from then onward, you can feel detachment for anything, material attraction. You cannot feel. you cannot feel by the mercy of guru vishnu i mean if your diksha is perfect if your diksha is perfect and i mean if your submission is perfect no kapat bhav no hypocrisy no katap bhav kapat bhav at the same time you are going to take shelter onto a lotus feet of a uh, paramahansa guru pad padma whole heartedly from heart in that case then and there in that case then and there when you are getting diksha hari naam diksha everything you can feel some reaction inside your heart so actually people they are less interested about bhagavat seva they are speaking we like to do hari seva hari bhajan but in true sense they are less interested to do because every disease has some symptom some expert that some expert doctor some expert doctor can touch your pulse and speak this is a disease so those who are pure guru vishnu they can understand that they don't like to do hari bhajan in truth sense by chance they are here but they don't like to do hari bhajan hari bhajan can only start when all everything in your life when dedicated for bhagwan then and then hari bhajan can start i mean when badha jeev is full of anartha then hari bhajan cannot start when anartha can go away when all anartha can go away from your heart by the mercy of guru vishnu then actual hari bhajan can start people are very much materialistic if you ask me 
Why they are less interested about Hari Bhajan, actual Hari Bhajan? Hari Bhajan in common sense everybody, in common term, everybody can say. But if you put me question, why they are not interested to do Hari Bhajan? Actual Hari Bhajan, they are not interested. Why? Because they are materialist, they have materialistic idea. They are so they have they are, they have so materialistic idea that they want to get result immediately. I have given you one hundred dollar. What you are giving me? Follow. This way they are so, so material, they like to exchange. I am giving this. What you are giving me? Man, I like businessman. Now if I ask you, you have received a blessing of your mother. In your childhood? Never? So, mother blessing me, grandfather, or maybe some Vaishnava blessing me, blessing me, no? Then if you ask me, what do you mean by blessing? What do you mean by blessing? You can measure blessing, 5 kg, 2 kg. They are so material, they like to measure blessing, they don't like to realize what, they don't like to, you know, Realize the word, what do you mean by blessing? So actually material man, they are blind. By the help of their sense organ, they like to measure Bhagavan. By the help of their sense organ, they like to measure Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnav, Dham, Nam, everything. They like to apply their sense organ to understand. That's why they are failure. All the time they are failure. What do you mean by Shastra? If somebody is asking me, what do you mean by Shastra? What do you mean by Shastra? If somebody is asking me, what you can give answer? Shastra means, by the help of your material sense organ, what you cannot realize, that information get from that source, that is called Shastra. By the help of your all sense organs, material sense organs of mind, you are failure to know. And that information you, you can get from that source. That is called Shastra. But it is impossible for you to understand by money power, man power, whatever power you are going to apply, you can fail you. So, this is called Shastra. And those who are blind people, they don't understand. If they go through Shastra, still they cannot understand. The meaning of Shastra, what is written in Shastra, they can buy books from market, but they cannot realize. Because that absolute truth, surely not going to, not going to reveal, not going to expose, going to be exposed in front of the branded soul. They will have to depend upon Guru Vaishnava, the right, proper channel, authentic channel through which, through perceptual channel, authentic channel, through his that knowledge can come, and through my submission, I mean, by Tadviddhi, Pranipatena, Parivasana, Sevaya. Pranipat, Parivasana, Sevaya, three conditions. Then and then that Tattabhid Sadhu, Guru Vaishnava, can give me, then I can realize. By my serving mood, serving temperament should be there. Then and only then I can gradually try to understand this. So, suppose one blind man want to go to some place. Suppose one blind man, he like to go to some place. He is getting one stick and tick, 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 going long distance to some places. I know some, some blind using train, you know, bus, they're going long distance, but very risky. And one layman, one blind man, he cannot see, but he can walk. A blind man, if his all other hand and leg, everything okay, a blind only blind, the blind man cannot see, his leg and hair, everything okay. But one layman, he can see, but he cannot walk. Follow. 
So now, if they are going to make one mutual agreement, when you are layman, I can take you in my soldier, I am blind, you can guide me, then we can go to that class. You like? You right? You are ready? Yes. Then that blind man can take the layman on the soldier and that man can so go right, left, this way, that way, and finally they can go. So this Shastra, this Shastra is our eyes. Shastra is our eyes. This Shastra, all, all Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, they are giving advice. All Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, they are giving advice according to a scriptural instruction. They are giving me advice. This Shastra and Guru Vaishnava, their advice is our eyes. They can help us to see the ultimate objective. Material people, if they are not, if they are not going to see any goal, perfect goal, lucrative goal, they are not ready to go. If they are not going to see any perfect goal, they don't like to go. So most of the people, they have, they have come in bhajan, but they have no idea about the final outcome, what they like to get. By chance they come, they are in confusion. Where to go, whom to follow, this guru can help me, I think not. Then where to go, this way they are in confusion. They are now in confusion. So, they cannot understand, they cannot realize their final goal. It is the duty, it is the duty, it is the duty of pure Guru Vaishnava to show you the ultimate goal. This is your objective, we will have to go. Because if I am not feeling interest, if I am not going to realize the utility of the object, I am a final object, Shaddhavastu, then why should I do? I am not going to put any energy, money, why should I do? First of all, I should realize, I should understand the utility of the objective. That's why our Guru Vaishnava always helping us to realize the final objective. You will have to go up to that place. So this is your final goal. For this reason, you will have to give energy. So then we can give energy, we can feel inspiration. Otherwise, no inspiration, we don't like to put any energy. This way, now point is that many Shastra is there. Shastra means? Shastra means? Shastra means actually those who are actually perfect by the help of which we can get perfect guidance. Shastra means not asap. This Shastra not going to misguide me, then it is Shastra. If this Shastra going to misguide me, then it is not Shastra. It is not Shastra. So there is many Shastras, so many. Muslim people can see their Quran is their Shastra. Christian people can say that we are Bible, we are Shastra. And in our India also, Bharat, there is so many Shastras, so many isms there. Sankha Sampradaya can say, this is our Shastra. Buddhist can say, this is our Shastra. So this way, everybody in confusion. They don't understand. So Shastra means, actually, by the help of which I can get exact exact guidance by the help of which i can get the final goal exact final goal that is called actually sastra bhagavan sri krishna was speaking in gita tasma sastra pramanante karja karjo vyavasthito arjun speaking what to do then how i can how i can understand what to do what not to do then Bhagavan Sri Krishna was speaking to Arjun. Arjun, Tasmat Sastra Pramanante Karja Karja Bhavasthito. What to do, what not to do, all written in Sastra. 
And by the help of Guru Vaishnava, we can get the essence, we can get the essence of Shastra. Accordingly, we can get guidance, we can go. So, Tasma Shastra Pamanante Karja Kajyo Vyavasthita. So, according to Shastra, we will have to guide ourselves. But we cannot realize Shastra, so we will have to follow. Shuddha Guru Vaishnava. I was discussing last week, I was discussing last week about Balaji Maharaj and glorification, original Guru Tattva. If I cannot understand original Guru Tattva, Akar Guru Tattva, if I cannot understand Akar Guru Tattva, then I can do nothing. I cannot start, I cannot start even bhajan. If I am in confusion about Guru Tattva, Vaishnava Tattva, try to understand. If I am in confusion about what is appropriate Guru Tattva, Vaishnava Tattva, then I cannot start, but till then I cannot start. So long as, so long as I am in confusion about Guru Tattva and Vaishnava Tattva, till then I cannot do, I cannot start Hari Bhajan, not possible. So, Akar Guru Tattva is Baldaji Maharaj. Srila Bindavanda Astakur Mahasaya is the last disciple of Bindavanda Astakur Mahasaya is the last disciple of Nityananda Balaram. Nityananda Balaram is the first expansion of Bhagavan Sri Krishna or Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nityananda Prabhu is the first expansion of Gauranga Mahaprabhu and non different from Gauranga. So, in Bhagavatam, we have information that Balaji Maharaja Raslila is there. Though Vishwana Chakravati was speaking, so many things I already discussed, I am not going to discuss again. You should remember. Vishwana Chakravati was speaking, Balaji Maharaj going to Balaji Maharaj going to avoid the Rasa Leela of Krishna long distance. Vishwanath Chakodhi was speaking, even Vishwanath Chakodhi was speaking, even Balaji Maharaj going to keep a safe distance. I mean the Rasa Leela of Balaji Maharaj was there in Ramgat, Ramgat, Obegaon. Long distance. From, from Govardhan, if you measure kilometer, it is uh, more than 70 or 80 kilometers. More than. Because many times I went there, I stayed there. The Brajubasi allowed me to worship that, that, that Balaji Maharaj, who come, coming from Jamuna, after in, in dream, in dream came, after the Balaji Maharaj came, that temple, old temple. Bajubas is speaking, you worship Baba, you are here, you worship. I was lucky. Many times. I do Arati and do Baldaji Maharaj. So that Baldaji Maharaj, that is the Rasa Leela. Rasa Leela. So Vishwanath Chakuti was speaking, even Baloram Krishna, even Baloram Krishna going to keep a safe distance from the Rasa Leela of Krishna. So that so that there cannot be any confusion. So Baldaji Maharaj going to protect the dignity of the Rasa Leela of Krishna, his, his externally, and his brother, but is as a Lord. Balaji Maharaj is speaking, Krishna is my Lord. Hello, Maharaj say. Now, each and every sentence, if I go on explaining in details, detail information, then it will take long time to complete this Chaitanya Bhagavad. So anyway, as much as possible, I can try to do, like, it is written, Bhagavad Suni Jar Rame Nahi Priti Vishnu Vaishnavar Pathe Se Barjito Prito. After hearing Bhagavad Mahapuran, after hearing and reciting, after hearing Bhagavad Mahapuran, if somebody is not going to grow loveful attachment for Guru Tattva, Bhagavad Maharaj, Ram, Ram. And I sh you should understand the meaning of Ram. You should understand the meaning of Ram. 
actually the inner meaning of this word Ram. Here, Ram means Balaram. Here, this Ram means Balaram. But Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare. This Ram is Krishna himself. Follow. Here, Ram is, I am not going to. Here, Ram is Balaram. But what I mean to say, people are in confusion. Where in Mahamantra, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, that Ram is Bhagavan Sri Krishna. So our Goswamis, Gopal Guru Goswami, Jibu Goswami Pat, Raghunath Das Goswami, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, they are all going to explain that Ramanath Ram Radhika, Radhika together with Radharani, Radhika, Radhika Ramana, Ramana Tithiram, Radha Sahit, Radha, together with Radha, he is doing Raman, Lila, that's why Ram. Eh? So, Ramanath Iti, Ramanath Rama, Radha Swardhena, Radha Swardhena, together with Radha, he is doing Raman. Lila, that's why Ram. But here, Balaram means Balaram. Here, Ram means Balaram. Balaji Maharaj is a Guru Tattva. So, after hearing whole Bhagavatam, after hearing whole Bhagavatam, if you don't understand the, if you don't understand Guru Tattva, secret Radharani, I am not speaking about Radharani, very secret. After hearing Bhagavatam, if you don't understand Baldev Tattva, Guru Tattva, original Guru Tattva, and you are, if you are not going to grow loveful relations with Baldaji Maharaj, then, then your reading Bhagavat or hearing Bhagavat is all useless. That's why if you have no loveful relation with Guru Vaishnava, then those who are pure, pure Guru Vaishnava, Vishnu Vaishnava, Pate Sejan Borjito. Those who are not having any loveful relation with Guru Pat Padmo, Akar Guru Tattva, surely all other pure Guru Vaishnavas, they are going to avoid him. They are going to avoid him. Like the case, like I can, I can give you two examples, one or two examples. Ramchandra Puri, is going to criticize Guru Vaishnava. Ramchandra Puri, Ramchandra, Ramchandra Puri going to find the fault of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ramchandra Puri going to give advice to Guru Pat Padma. Hey, why you are crying? Is not good. You are. Why? How dare? He is going to advise Guru Pat Padma Madhavendra Puri Pat. That's why. That's why he is rejected. He is rejected by his guru, Madhavendu Puripa. Madhavendu Puripa practically told him, when he is going to advise, why you are crying? Eh? You are Brahma. Why you are you? Why you are crying? Unless then Madhavendu Puripa become very angry because first point Madhavendu Puripa is crying because of Vipralamba Baba. He is not getting Krishna, burning heart. He like to meet with Krishna. And at the same time, that idiot, rascal, disciple going to advise Gurudev. Why you are crying? You are a tatta you are... Then you become very angry. Then Madhavendra Puripad speaking to his disciple, I mean this Madhavendra, this Ramchandra Puri, You get lost anywhere. I don't like to see your face. I don't like to see your face. He is speaking this. You get lost from me. If I see your face, I can get some reaction. If I give, if I see your face, I can get. So I don't like to see your face. You get lost. So Ramchandra Puri is rejected by his Guru Padpati. Due to this reason, due to this reason. Or pure Guru Vaishnava never like to get his association. 
That's why all pure Guru Vaishnava, they never like to get his association. Whenever he is coming, they become very upset. Follow. Now I can speak the case of Balavacharya. Balavacharya is a great devotee. But Balavacharya is expressing false ego. I already told, I am not going to explain. Only one point I can say. When he is going to commit Aparada unto the lotus feet of Siddha Sai Path, the great commentator, then Mahaprabhu becomes very angry. Mahaprabhu says, Well, you are not going to obey Siddha Sai Path, then who is not going to obey his husband? It can be compared with one pros. Mahaprabhu can be. So when Mahaprabhu is going to reject him, try to understand. Anyway, Mahaprabhu now acting as Guru. Though we know he is Krishna. We know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Krishna himself. But still, he is acting as Guru, na? He is showing all his activities, all what to do, what not to do. Guru, Guru. <coughs> so Mahaprabhu become very angry. When Mahaprabhu is going to reject, when Mahaprabhu is going to reject Balvacharya, then nobody is going to honor him. <coughs> When Mahaprabhu is going to reject him, then no Vaishnava, no Vaishnava is going to honor him. Then he was in great problem. Everybody likes to avoid. Not going to talk with him. He's an offender, no? Vaishnava Pura. So nobody likes to talk with him. Adhyayadya Gosai, Nithananda, Gadadar Pandit, Sarvam Vattajaj, who not? Everybody likes to avoid his. Whenever watching, he is coming, he likes to avoid. I also, when I find some offender, Vaishnava Paradi, directly evidence is there. Not that I am going to make some story. I am not going to make name. Whenever I know they are Vaishnava Paradis, even I know what to speak, I am not going to give name. At present, if you search whole world, at present if I search whole world, he was the most knowledgeable person. He used to respect me as Guru, Siksha Guru. But I avoid him. Previously, he used to come to me, you know, follow. We together used to do some seva. But when I came to know, he has done some offense, Gurudev reject him. Whole world, if you search, at present, if you, whole world, if you search, is the most knowledgeable personality. So intelligent, super intelligent. But whenever he came to know he has done some aparad, Gurudev rejected him, then I used to avoid him. I find him inside, inside Jagannath temple. Inside Jagannath Tebhav, I am doing parikam, I, I saw him. Immediately I pass away to some other place. By now he understand. By now, by now he also understand, Shambhava like to avoid me. Follow. So, I am not going to name those who are offender. I like to avoid their discussion. I like to, I don't like to touch. Go, don't go there, don't like to see their face, I like to avoid them. They are offender, direct offend. So this way, Balavacharya when was rejected by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then everybody fear. Balavacharya went, wanted, to, wanted to read the commentary of Bhagavatam Ritim. Mahaprabhu speaking, actually, I am illiterate man. I don't understand the meaning of Bhagavatam. I don't know. You can go to some other place. Mahaprabhu speaking. Oh, well, if you like to hear, if you like to hear, because uh, Siddha Saipat commentary, I, don't, I cannot accept. But time to time, time to time, we discover that he is writing some such meaning which is not acceptable for us. Mahaprabhu became very angry. After that, he is speaking. I have written, I have written the commentary on Harinam, on Harinam, Krishnanam. I have written commentary on Krishnanam, different explanation. Mahaprabhu said, I am an illiterate person, you see. 
I only know Jasuda Nandan, only I understand Jasuda Nandan, Nandan Nandan. Uh, so I, I don't understand the meaning. I only understand Nandan Nandan Krishna, Jasuda Nandan Krishna. And I am illiterate, I am doing Harinam. Someday I cannot complete my Harinam. This is my situation. So you can go to some other place. Follow. Nobody likes to hear. He likes to hear. He likes to establish himself. He like to he like to recite he like to recite his commentary he like to recite his explanation about Krishna but nobody like to hear nobody like to hear they have to pass away because he offended na Balvacha is offended he has done offence to a lotus feet of Siddha Sanipa. finally finally when that offence was over when that offence was over. Balavacha jo thinking, thinking day and night. Balavacha jo thinking day and night. Well, he honored me. Prabhu honored me so much. But now why Prabhu going to uh, avoid me? What can be the reason? Finally, by the mercy of Gauranga, he could realize, well, I like to establish my Pratishtha. I like to get established Pratishtha in front of Prabhu. I have false ego. That's why Prabhu like to avoid me. Finally, he come in front of Prabhu. I have done offense. You excuse me. I I want I, I, uh, I expressed I expressed my audacity to insult Shridhar Saipa. Please excuse me. Then Mahaprabhu speaking. You are pandit. You are pandit. You are doing Hari Bhajan, Bhagavat Yuva. So how is possible? How we can expect false ego? How we can expect false ego from you? It's not good. Okay, I have done mistake. You please excuse me. I also beg for pardon and told to see the sign. Then Mahaprabhu, well, okay, okay, okay. Then to confirm, then to confirm that to confirm the keeper of Mahaprabhu. I mean, Mahaprabhu is now happy going. He to confirm. Asking Mahaprabhu, now if you are at all happy with me, if you excuse me, then I like to invite you for prasadam. You agree? Okay, okay, you go. Mahaprabhu agree for prasadam. Together with all, all parshat, I mean Advaita Gosha, Nitaranda. When Mahaprabhu agreed to take prasadam, that means Mahaprabhu is going to excuse. If Mahaprabhu is not happy, not, not going to excuse, then from an offender, Surely Mahaprabhu cannot take prasadam. Follow what I say. So, Bindavan Dastagur Mahasaya wanted to establish Guru Tattva. Very vital point. Bindavan Dastagur Mahasaya was speaking, after reading whole Bhagavatam, if you are not going to get, if you are not growing if you are not growing tremendous love unto the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj, then then surely, then surely he, then surely he is rejected by pure Guru Vaishnava. Vishnu Vaishnava pathe se borjito. Vishnu Vaishnava pathe se borjito. Mane, in the way of bhajan, in the way of his bhajan, he is rejected by Guru Vaishnava pure. Now, Vindavanda Chakun Mahaj speaking, Bhagavad Jinam. Mane se javan samo. You don't understand Bengali. I am very sorry for that. If you understand Bengali, then you can get test. Anyway, I am going to translate, but still, it's very important. Bhagavad jena mane se jam samo. Who is not going to obey Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran? He who is going to, who, he who is going to dishonor Bhagavad Ji Mahaprana? He who is going to dishonor Bhagavad Banada, not going to honor Bhagavad Ji Mahaprana. He is like Javan, Javan means Muslim. Tar Shastra Ache Janme Janme Prabhu Jam. Don't take it otherwise. Try to understand the inner meaning. If literal meaning, if you take the literal meaning, then you are in confusion. So I will have to explain this point. Bhagavad, who is going to reject Bhagavatam? 
Who is not going to honor Bhagavatam? Who cannot understand the dignity of Bhagavatam? Who is going to dishonor Bhagavatam? Bhagavatam means Bhagavan himself. Bhagavat means Bhagavan himself. Na? Who is Bhagavan? Is Bhagavatam. Shrimad Bhag about about Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran. About Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, it is written in glorification of Bhagavatam. Shukdev Goswami is speaking. Shakshat Krishna Evahi. Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, Shakshat Krishna Evahi. Be sure that Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran is non different from Krishna. Is a sound, is a sound incarnation, is a sound incarnation of Srimad Bhagavad Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahaparana is a sound, is a sound incarnation of Krishna. Like you know, in Chaitanya Bhagavad you can find Koli Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. Krishna in this Kalikal, Krishna in this Kalikal coming in the form of Harinam. Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. Krishna descend in this Kalikal in the form of Harinam. So it's sound incarnation. But Shabda Brahma. And you can remember six months ago, I mean before Gopurnima, someday I, I, I started explaining about Shabda Brahma Para Brahma. You can remember during Gopurnima. Follow. Or I can do again sometime. So, Shabda Brahma and Para Brahma non different from each, each other. Who is Shabda Brahma? Anadi Nidanam, Anadi Nidanam, Brahma, Shabda, Shabda Tattam Jadaksharam. You remember I, this sloka. During Gorfurima I discussed. I can remember now. Long ago I discussed. Follow. What I say? Anadi Nidanam Brahma. Shabda tattam jadaksharam nivartate ortho bhavena pakriya yagato yataha. From Veda, once this sloka. Anadi nidanam brahma. Anadi nidanam brahma. Shabda tattam jadaksharam. Anadi nidanam brahma. Shabda tattam jadaksharam nivartate ortho bhavena pakriya yagato yataha. So, by this slok, I can prove that Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma sense. So, if somebody is going to dishonor Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana, then he is just like a Javan. Javan means Muslim people. Muslim people, they are not going to understand personified Bhagavan. They understand Allah, Allah is not personified from. They don't understand. Today also I was discussing with one Muslim contactor, you know. I am giving payment to him, daily payment now, before coming. I was speaking. That in your, in your Quran, in your Quran, so many things are there, your, your people, they don't understand. I give evidence. I told him, you, you bring Quran in front of me, 200 years back. When it now new Quran, new Quran they are going to change. New Quran they are going to change some points. Like Padma Puran, our wicked Pandit, they are going to change some line for their personal benefit. They like to establish, they like to establish impersonal Brahma. Follow. I told him that in your Quran it is there. I can show you, but now they change it. Some lady, her name is Fatema, she already saw Krishna. One fraction of a second, he saw Krishna and fall down on the ground. Muhammad never saw Krishna. Muhammad never saw Allah. He realized something. Muhammad never, but Fatema, she saw already Bhagavan. Follow. Anyway, so they are Javan Sama mean, Javan mean Muslim. Muslim, they are Bidharmi. They like to ignore all scripture instruction. What is good for us, they are bad for us. Follow. 
eastern direction is good for all, because sun rises in this, but they think it's inauspicious. They let to waste. Follow. Everything just opposite. Everything, whatever we are doing, they are doing just opposite. We are saving this beard and putting this, they are just to save and dip it. Just opposite. Just opposite. What to do? <laughs> we are taking prasadam in the ground, no touch anywhere. They are taking prasadam in the bed. In the bed, sleeping bed. Just opposite. <laughs> what do you do? Just opposite. So this way, if now I like to clarify some point, I am not criticizing any Javan, because they are also my brother. Hello, follow. I am not getting My point is that according to their karma fall, according to their karma fall, they are taking birth there. Javan doesn't mean we can hate. But Haridas Thakur took birth in Javan family. But he was given the topmost honor by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Haridas Thakur was given the topmost honor, topmost. None of our, you know, Guru Varga, they got this kind of honor. As was given to Haridas Thakur by, because of Namacharya. Namacharya is topmost. So the topmost honor was given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to him. So, Muslim, Hindu, Christian, that's not a big problem. It is the question of realization. It is not a question of which country you took birth, why, that's not a big problem. It's, it's a big problem. That's not a big issue. Its question is realization. So, if somebody taking birth in Muslim family, if somebody taking birth in some uh, low caste here and there, it is due to their karma fall, previous karma fall. Previous karma fall. So if somebody getting birth in a high family, if suppose somebody according to previous activity taking birth in a high family, but now he is not going to follow, going to do all rubbish activity then, follow what is it? He has taken birth in a high family. Like the case of Black Hill, Kala Pahar. Kala Pahar is a remarkable name is a remarkable name in history. Is a remarkable name. We can never forget this idiot personality. So dangerous. Even Muslim people, they are not so dangerous. He was Brahman. He took birth in a Brahman family. Very high class Brahman. He used to do Gayatri. After some day, due to some reason, he lose all his faith. Due to some reason, he lose all his faith, he developed fighting with the Hindu people. And after that, his aparad, after that his offense going to reach up to such a peak level that he joined, he joined Muslim ruler, king, king, you know, Shahin Shah, Batsa. Follow. Dangerous Batsa, Aurangajeb. He like to he like to you know, make some collaboration with him. Collaboration for? To break all Hindu temple. I saw his picture, portrait picture, like demon. You know, he used to kill thousands of Brahman, destroy temple. If you look, you can see what is he? Some Hiranyakasipu, what? You have seen the picture of Chinggis Khan? I like, don't like to speak the name. It can contaminate my tongue. How many lakhs of people that man? Mongolia. His country is Mongolia. He took birth. He came in India. And killed lakhs of people. In his life. One life. In one life. He killed lakhs of people. So you see. So according to Sanskar. Ram Mohan Rai. He become rascal. His father going to kick him out. Externally, we can find his name is there. He is honored. He is honored as a social reformer. As a social reformer, his name is remarkable in our society. But 
his father and we all like to kick him out, throw him out. He died in England, not even in India. He died in England. Bhagwan don't allow his death here in India. Died there. He went there, here he died. So dangerous. So, according to karma fall, people taking birth. Wherever you took birth, wherever you done, now is the main point, we are going to follow our Guru Vishnu. That is the main point. So, according to karma fall, people can get punishment according to karma fall. So, Bindavan Dastagar Mahasaya speaking, those who are not going to honor even Bhagavatam, I mean Krishna, then they can get punishment by Yama Raja, the goddess of death. Yama Raja is going to arrange a severe punishment. Yama Raj going to, waiting for them to come. After their death, Yama Raj can give them severe punishment. Ebe keho keho napungshak beche nache bole bole bororam raj kun shaste ache. Now you can understand why I started with this point. The Shastra is our eyes. We are blind. Shastra can give us ray, light. We can go ahead. Now you see. Hmm. Vindavan Das Thakur Mahasa speaking, so Srila Vindavan Das Thakur Mahasa speaking, Ebe keho keho napungshak beshen ache. Ebe keho keho, Ebe mean now at present. Ebe, Ebe keho keho napungshak beshen ache. Napungshak, you know. Why Vindavan Dasyagur Mahasaya is going to use this word? It's very dirty word. What is this word? Napungshak. Not man, not woman. You know? You know? Some human being there, they are not getting woman body, nor woman body, eh? neither woman nor man body. Middle. Their organ all incomplete. That is called Napungsha. Follow. That is called Napungsha. So, Vindavan Das Chakur Mahasaya is very angry with those people. That's why time to time you can, I can show you in course of our discussion, Vindavan Das Chakur Mahasaya is speaking after giving so much argument after giving so much evidence from Shastra, if somebody is not going to obey, then I am going to kick on his head. It is not? Eto poriharo je papi ninda kore. Eto poriharo je papi ninda kore. Tobe lati maruta shire rupore. Shire mne matha. After giving so much argument, so much vichar, Shastra vichar, if so, still somebody is some going to maintain some bias, no, then I am going to kick on their head. Because Vindavan Das Chakra Mahasaya is very merciful, like to bestow kippa by providing dust particle from his lotus feet. So, keho keho napung shak besen ache, bole baloram ras kun sastre ache. I can show you, big, big writer. Big, big writer, they are writing volumes of book. I can show you. Volumes of book, one, one book this much. They are writing whole life. Big Pandit. Hello. But not going to obey Balaram Ras. Not going to obey Balaram Ras. Where is Balaram Ras? He's writing. I mean, in Bhagavatam it is directly written. 
In Bhagavad Gita, Mahaprabhu is directly to Balabhji Maharaj, he is going to no Ras. Balaram Das is not practical. Hey? Speaking this. That's been? They are going to ignore. They are going to insult Balaji Maharaj. They are not going to honor Balaji Maharaj. They are going to think that there cannot be any Rasa Leela of Balaji Maharaj. But Prabhupada repeatedly told, but Prabhupada repeatedly told, though Balaji Maharaj is the original Guru Tattva, try to remember, though Balaji Maharaj is the original Guru Tattva, we know, but we should not forget that Balaji Maharaj is the first expansion of Krishna, at the same time non-different from Krishna, and both of them going to do Leela inside Vrindavan. Follow. Both of them have the right to put peacock feather. Both of them have the right to do Rasa Leela. So, Popa speaking, though we know Balaji Maharaj is the original, original Guru Tattva, Shevak Bhagavan, uh, still we should not forget, we should not forget Balaji Maharaj, though is original Guru Tattva, still at the same time, he has a right to take all seva. I mean, what do you mean to say? What do you mean to say? Prabhupada speaking, though Balaji Maharaj is Shevak Tattva, at the same time, Shevva Tattva. Try to understand. Follow what I say. Baba speaking, though we know Balaji Maharaj is original Sevak Tattva, but still, only and only, about Balaram. All other expansion, not that. About Balaji Maharaj, Baba speaking, though we know Balaji Maharaj is Sevak Tattva, Guru Tattva, but still we should not forget. He is also Shebba Tattva, like Krishna. I can show you so many slokas from Bhagavatam. There it is written. Balaji Maharaj is being served. Balaji Even Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to serve Balaram. Even Bhagavan Sri Krishna, not that Balaram only serve, not that Balaji Maharaj only serving Krishna. I can show you, you open Bhagavatam. I can show you. Balaji Maharaj serving Krishna is quite natural. But Krishna serving Balram. Krishna going to massage the lotus feet of Balram. Krishna going to massage the lotus feet of Balram. So, Prabhupada going to speak this, this point. Though we know Baldaji Maharaj is a Sevak Tata, but still we should not forget Baldaji Maharaj at the same time he is Shebba Tata. So, if we are going to disobey, dishonor the diversity of the Leela of Balaji Maharaj, then we are in favor of impersonal Brahma. Popa speaking, Popa speaking, Popa speaking, if we are going to dishonor, if we are going to ignore the diversified Leela of Balaji Maharaj, if we are going to dishonor, we are not going to accept all the diversified Leela of Balaji Maharaj, then surely we are impersonalist. Impersonalist mean? Impersonalist mean? What do you mean impersonal? Brahma is Klibhlingo. We don't know. Neutral gender. Oh, ho. <laughs> Brahma is neutral gender. Not he or she. You cannot use. Neutral gender. So that's why Vindavan Dastakarma is so intelligent. See, Vandana speaking, those who are going to dance in the form of Napunsha, not man, not either man or woman, nor woman, neither man nor woman. They, Im, they are actually Napunsha, mean they are impersonal, they are in favor of impersonal Brahma. They are not going to understand they are going to give honor to all diversified leela of allah maharaj so 
they are in favor of impersonal Brahma. So, in fact, they are not going to honor the Leela, diversified Leela of Allah, because they finally like to submerge into impersonal Brahma. Impersonal Brahma means they are neutral gender. Neutral, no? Not, not he, not she. Neutral gender. Neutral gender, no? No gender. Neutral gender. Not man, he or she, you cannot say. So, Vindavan Dasyakir Mahasavidhi, Ebe keho keho napung shak besena che, they are rascal, idiot, foolish, they are speaking, where is the topics of Rasa Leela Balram? Where you get? Are you? Where you get me? Already they are in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. In Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran you open. You open Bhagavad Gita, it's the Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran is the topmost evidence. So you are going to ignore Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. So you impersonal, you are going to do bhajan of impersonal Brahma. So you are Kliblinga, Kliblinga man, neutral gender. Not man, no woman. Brahma means nobody. No linga. Eh? Then they are going to submerge. Kono papi shastu dekhilo nahi mane. Bindavan Dastagar Mahasaya is speaking. If we are going to show some scriptural evidence, Bindavan Dastagar Mahasaya is speaking. Even if we are going to show some scriptural evidence, you see here is written. Bindavan Dastagar Mahasaya is speaking. When we are, we are going to show their, them their scriptural evidence, still they are not going to accept it. Or, they are going to explain wrong way. Try to understand very inner meaning. Literal meaning is very clear. But inner meaning not clear. Literal meaning clear, but it is not actual meaning. If you read, somebody read Bengali, they are, oh, it's very clear. Kono papi shastri dekhu shastra dekhilo nahi mane. If somebody is going to see shastra, so it is a dividend there in Shastra, still they are not going to accept. Ak orthe onno ortho koriya bekhane. Don't understand. Try to give full attention here. Because here is the question of Nama Parat. Here it is the question of Nama Parat. Nama Parat is dangerous. If you are doing some Seva Parat, Dhamma Parat, Nama okay. But if you are going to do Nama Parad and Vaishnava Parad, Guru Parad, then you cannot get Then you cannot get excuse. Big problem. So pay attention here. Kono papi, some sinful personalities, even if we are going to show scriptural evidence, still they are going to, not going to obey. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They are going to explain. They are going to explain. No, it is written due to this reason, it is written this way. If you saw scriptural evidence, say no, 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 this is not the meaning. A meaning is this way, this meaning. Kono papi shastro dekhe leho nahi mane. Ek orthe on ortho koriya bekhane. If somebody explaining shastra, suppose we are hearing harikatha from some acharya. Suppose. We are hearing some harikatha from some acharyas. Follow. If you see, he is explaining everything wrong way. Wrong way. Like Harinam Mahamantra, this is the meaning. He is going to wrong way. Follow. He is going to make wrong way. Backha. In that case, those who are hearing, they will also get punishment. He, I mean the Acharya who is speaking wrong, and those who are hearing, both of them can get punishment. Both of them. Both of them can follow. Suppose I am, try to understand. Suppose I am sitting in an assembly. Suppose I am sitting in an assembly. In front of me, some Acharya is speaking wrong, Siddhanta. If I am not going to object, if I am not going to find solution, this is not the meaning. If I, if I, am, not, if I am going to keep silence, 
I have to give punishment. Why I am not going to any assembly at present? Why I am not going to five years back, also I went. Big, big assembly I went. But now not going. No time. Because if in front of me, if some acharya is speaking wrong, if I am not going to protest, then I will have to get punishment. But of course, very polite way. Not that, oh, you are doing wrong. Fight, not that. Polite way. Maharaj, this meaning, how is possible this meaning? This is polite way. Not that fighting. Like the case of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. In assembly, he is hearing in the chairman asan. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj is sitting in the best asan. All other sannyasis. One by one they are speaking Harikatha. Some of them speaking wrong Siddhanta. Some of them speaking wrong Siddhanta. Bhamanga Sema can remember everything. Which this Mara speaking wrong Siddhanta regarding this. This Mara speaking wrong Siddhanta. This Maharaj speaking wrong Siddhanta regarding Vaishnava Siddhanta. This Maharaj speaking wrong Siddhanta regarding Nam 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 Tatta. All he can remember. So nice memory. Great devotee, na? After all, Harikata is over. When the finally, when he is going to conclude, when he is going to conclude, I mean this assembly is going to dissolve. Before that, Bhavan Maharaj is going to speak. Then Bhavan Maharaj is so clever, he used to cover up all those places. Suppose this Acharya is speaking wrong. Very important Acharya, speaking wrong, wrong Siddhanta. Important in the sense, foolish people give honour to him. In this way, importance. Otherwise, no importance. Important in the sense that foolish people give honour to him. That's why important, I say. I'm bound to speak because I'm in society. Otherwise, no importance. So, Bhaman Maharaj, one by one, speaking Harikatha and going to touch each and every point. Suppose this Maharaj making wrong Siddhanta about Vaishnava Tattva. That Maharaj speaking wrong Siddhanta in Nam Tattva. All he is going to speak Harikatha in such a way, all point he is going to cover up and those who are hearing, they understand, well, I have done wrong Siddhanta. They realize. But Bhavana is not directly going to insult. Even his own Godmother, even his own Godmother, even his own Godmother, making wrong Siddhanta. Totally wrong Siddhanta. But he is not going to insult him directly. Not directly. Speaking, Harikatha, this way. So, If somebody not going to accept scriptural evidence, authentic scriptural evidence, they are not going to accept, or at all they are going to, no, this is not the meaning. This is the meaning. Wrong way. Suppose, day by day, I am, I am, I am giving answer to different letters. Day by day, I am giving answer to different letters. Different letters. If you read all letters, I mean their question, their behavior, their activities at present, what they are doing, from here I can realize they are going wrong way. From here I am sitting thousands of miles away from them. But I can realize they are doing wrong. They think they are doing Guru Seva. They think they are doing Guru Seva. But I am 100% sure that they are doing wrong. So when I advise them, they cannot accept. Because I like to deliver them, na? They like to do Guru Shiva fanciful way. They think it is Guru Shiva. But I know it is not Guru Shiva. I know that it is not Guru Shiva. They are making wrong. They are going wrong way. They can fall down. If I am going to check them, they become angry with me. I realize, I realize their voice, their letter, after reading letter, after hearing their voice, I can understand they are going wrong way. Totally wrong way. If I like to check them, if I like to check them, if they obey, they can survive, otherwise 100% they cannot survive. Follow. So 
So I have nothing to do. Because bonded soul, or they have their free will. Bonded soul, or they have the free will. We like to do such a seva, which is very easy for us. We like to do seva, we like to do such a seva, which is very easy for us. When we need to give some energy, full energy, then we feel, ah, so much time I cannot give. So much money we cannot give. This way. I know their mood. This is the condition. I say you do this way, they are doing that way. I say, why you are not doing this way? So many seva waiting for you, but they are like to do this seva. Because if they are going to obey me, they cannot get pratishta at present. Finally, they can get pratishta. Finally, they can get pratishta. If they are going to obey me, ultimate result is, ultimate result is very good. At present, they cannot get pratishta. If they are going to obey me at present, what I say, they cannot get any patishta. They, they, that's why they don't like to obey. Follow. This way they are going to destroy themselves. I have nothing to do. One by way coming and going on. One by coming and going by. I see in front of me, I have nothing to do. Hundred percent submission in my life I have not seen anybody. Bhaman Goswami Maharaj I have seen. Tetra Goswami, Maman Goswami, I have seen nobody. Hundred percent inclination, I have not seen. Because hundred percent submission means it's not one, uh, one, you know, one, you know, uh, you know, false philosophy, not that. Who is hundred percent inclined, his activities, his speech, his activities, all can prove his hundred percent inclined. All his activities, all his speech, all his writing, all his mood can prove that he is hundred percent inclined. Foolish people, they cannot understand. So this way, Kono Papi, some sinful, some sinful personalities, they even after, <coughs> even after <coughs> looking at Sastra, even we are even if we are going to show them scriptural evidence, still they are not going to work. Or at all they are going to accept. <coughs> How I can make you understand? Sometimes I go mad. Sometimes I am tearing my ear. I like to explain, but it is not possible for you to understand. I like to make you from my heart, I like you understand. But you cannot understand. You have to go up. In such a position, from there you can understand. All my activities, all what I mean to say, then you can realize. Otherwise, you can misunderstand me. So, they are writing this way. I say it is wrong. Suppose they are writing this. After that, I need to change it again. Change the right. They are writing one minute. I change it, writing is meaning, inner meaning, not that, you are wrong, this way. But still they are not going to accept, become angry. This is the situation. Follow. If I point out, you are wrong, this is not Siddhanta, but still they are not. This is the situation. So, tasmat sastra pramanante karja karja vyavasthito. You can remember, in the beginning I told, from Gita, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun, Arjun, you will have to follow the scriptural advice. What to do, what not to do. But of course, scriptural advice can come through Guru Vaishnava. Because if you directly go to understand, you cannot understand. Confusion. So, what to do, what not to do, you should consult Sastra. If you are going to if you are going to accept the meaning of Shastra, but wrong way. If you are at all ready, if you are at all ready to accept the meaning of Shastra, but wrong way, according to your own understanding. 
according to your own knowledge. Suppose my Guru Mahārāj is writing something. Suppose Guru Mahārāj is writing something. I need to explain this writing in front of somebody. So I have no right to explain the writing of Guru Pāt Padma if I am not 100% inclined. Try to, it's not, it is not emotional question. It is not the question of honour or dishonour. It is not the question of pratishtha. It is a question of survival of a real self. If somebody don't understand the writing of Prabhupada, or don't understand the writing of Bhakti Thakur or Guru Maharaj, then who, who am I to explain? First my question, who am I to explain? If I am 100% inclined and the lotus feet of Prabhupada and Bhakti Thakur, then and only then I can understand the inner meaning of inner meaning of the writings of Prabhupada. Otherwise not. If, if I am not 100% inclined, suppose 50% or maybe 30%, if I like to make some commentary on the writings of Prabhupada, I can go to hell. I have seen. Tithya Goswami Maharaj become very angry. Somebody doing kirtan. Somebody doing kirtan of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. In front of me, I have seen. Somebody doing kirtan of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Northam Thakur. They are going to change the line. They are going to change the line. You, you change the line, why? Uh, it's nice. You have no right to change. You have no right to change even dot, full stop, invited comma, colon. You have no right to change. Be careful. You have no right to change even dot, full stop, colon, nothing. You have no right. If I am totally harmonized with Prabhupada, then I can understand the meaning of what Prabhupada has written. Otherwise, I... If I go, what to speak about me? Even Sanatan Goswami Pad, even Sanatan Goswami Pad, the great, even Sanatan Goswami Pad, the great, he is crying in front of Krishna's Gopika Radharani. I don't understand what you mean to say. I already explained. During the introductory speech on Rasa Leela, I told. Sanatana was saying, crying and speaking. Crying and speaking. The whole Gopikas. I don't understand what you mean to say. Oh, Krishna, what do you mean to say? What Krishna wants to say, those Gopikas understand. What those Gopikas want to say, Krishna understand. I don't understand. So how I can get entry? How I can get entry into this very secret, you know, thing? So I am going to surrender unto the Lotus Spirit of Krishna and Gopikas. You please allow me to understand. Follow. After that, Sanatana Goswami started writing commentary. Not before that. Sanatana Goswami, who am I? I have no access. I have no access, you know. In the Baba of Gopikas, what they mean to say? Ho oh, Gopika, ho oh, Radharani, please allow me to understand what you mean to say. Oh, I cannot make mistake. Rupa saying also you go through Rasamrita Hindu. Pavartita Aham Barakaro Upi is reading Rasamrita Hindu. Rasamrita Hindu, first slok, you open. First slok or Rasamrita Hindu, open. Rupa is speaking. I am a fallen soul. How I am going to take advice? You know, I am going to, you know, how I am going to take courage to write this kind of commentary of Bhakti Devi. Rupa Goswami, Pavartita aham barakaro opi opi, barakaro opi. I am a fallen, useless. How I dare to write the commentary of eh? Bhakti Rasam? Oh my God, who am I? Rupa Goswami speaking. So if Rupa Goswami was writing this way, Sanatana Goswami writing this way, Bhakti Mata writing this way, Prabhupada writing, Vishnana Chakravati was writing, then who am I to express false ego? I am the man, I understand everything. Eh? Gobet, rascal, how I can say I understand? I cannot say. 
I cannot say I understand. It's humble attitude. If Prabhupada bless me, I so if somebody is not hundred percent harmonized with Guru Pad Padma, surely he can make mistake. Follow. That's why I don't allow anybody, any common man, to translate books, this, that, that. Well, you can make mistake, I don't understand that language. I don't understand how, who can, who can you know, arrest you, what mistake. I don't know like that. Big problem. So, who is 100% harmonized with Guru Vaishnava, only and they can understand. Otherwise not. So, because I can show you a big writer, volumes of book. Even even if you lie down on ground, if I put all his you know books on you, you can become flat, like flat rice. Yes, volumes of book. But <laughs> yes, I can show you. But they are writing fighting this way, writing this way. Balaji Maharaj actually not writing Rasana. Oh, that's wrong Siddhanta. Huh? Wrong Siddhanta. Balaji Maharaj never wrote Dana. They are writing this way. Wrong Siddhanta. About Prakasananda, Prabhadananda, writing wrong Siddhanta. All writing wrong Siddhanta. What to do? So, Tasma Sastra Pamananda Karja Karchu Pavasito. So, Bindavan Dastakur Mahasaya wanted to say, wanted to save us that at all. If we are going to get the keeper of Balaji Maharaj, Nityananda and Guru Bhargava, then we can realize. Otherwise, if some Shastra, if we are going to explain wrong way, then we are get double punishment. First, Namaparat, Shastra meaning this. It is also scriptural discussion, if a wrong way represent the wrong Siddhanta Vishaya. For speaking lie, wrong Siddhanta, I can get in punishment. Both way problem. Chaitanya Chandir Priyo Bigraha Balai. The heart of Bal the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu is Balaram. The heart of the very heart of Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chaitanya. The heart, the heart of Gauranga is Nityananda. Chaitanya Chandir Priyo Vigraha Balai Tan Stane Aparade More Sarvothai. If I am going to commit offense unto the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj and his devotees, because Nitair Charan Sotta Tahara Sevak Nitto, you know na? this Kirtan? Nitair Charan Sotta Tahara Sevak Nitto, you don't know. The lotus feet of Nityananda is eternal, and those eternal servants of Nityananda, they have their eternal place unto the lotus feet of Nityananda. Say, so if I'm going to criticize any Vaishnavas, I can give severe punishment. Severe punishment. Severe. Even after I've done so much seeing, countless seeing, even after that, if I do Vaishnava Parat, all gone, vanished. All done, but all vanish. Because I told that example, one big pot of milk, very cow milk, very pure, we can use it for cooking paramanna, offer Bhagavan, Vaishnavas can drink, but if somebody is going to put one drop of wine, one drop, one drop of wine, try to hear, one drop of wine, if I put one drop, just one drop, of wine on this pot, then the pot, even the pot I cannot touch. What to, what to speak about the utility of that milk? What to speak about the utility of that milk? Even I cannot touch that, even I cannot touch that pot. Because in Bhagavatam it is written, if in this pot, suppose in this pot, if you put some wine, after that I like to do achaman, you are going to wash it very nicely, you bring it in front of me. In Bhagavatam it is written, the pot in which, the pot in which you can discover wine, that pot, if you wash with Ganga water and, and a Triveni water, whatever, it is not clear. 
Shura Kumbho Miba Paka. Shura Kumbho. Shura means wine. Wine pot. Wine pot, if I clean with Ganga water, cow down, no. Wine was. It will throw away. Follow. So you understand? I have done so many things, preaching everything, but after that, I have done Vaishnava offer. I have done so many ravish Vaishnava offer. But after then, all what I have done, all finished, because I use Sriyo, Yashu, Dharma, Lokana, Ashi, Shevacha, Haunting, Shanks, Sarvani, Mahadati, Krama. All your past activity, whatever you have done, all gone to water. Finish. Due to Vaishnava Parā. I know you have done, but all gone to water. All gone into water. Now you cannot get any result. Rather you can get punishment for that, Vaishnava Parā. Chaitanya Chandir Piyo Vigraha Valai Tarsane Aparat More Sarvathai If I am going to commit offence unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, Nityananda Prabhu and Guru Bhargava, then I cannot get any place anywhere. I told that previous Harikatha, Joshua Prashadat Bhagavat Prashadu, Joshua of Prashadat Nagadikutu Opi, Dhangs Tubang Sasso Yasas Sisandam, Bande Guru Si Charna. I told you can. So next day, Harikatha, I can try to explain. Next day, I can try to explain. Next day, Harikatha. Follow. So the sloka I started with. You can remember, Nate Bidushartho Gotim Hibishnum Dura Sayaji Bahir Arthomani Andhaya Thandai Rupani Yamanam Teo Pisichatan Tamurudam Nibadia Vanchakal Paturusiki Pasindabur Patitan and Papa Nabushna Pune. 